name the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. It's a great pleasure and honor for me to come and take the blessing and praying with you today. Uh, when um, Abuna Daniel called me yesterday to come and take this blessing, the whisper was about the transfiguration, uh, the gospel yesterday about the transfiguration. So I, I felt it's uh, a call to come and uh, and take the blessing. Um, always happy to hear uh, the growth of this wonderful church with the service of um, Abuna David and Abuna Daniel. God bless both of them and bless their service. Hopefully soon we will move to their own church, to uh, a nice building, and um, God will use the talents of uh, our great father Abuna David as an engineer and uh, project manager to uh, and Abuna Daniel as well to build a wonderful and uh, uh, blessed uh, new church. Uh, today, quickly, I will go through the gospel. And the gospel today is that the disciples went to our Lord Jesus Christ asking him, um, teach us to pray. Very simple, teach us to pray. And um, it was um, wonderful that he teach them, whenever you pray, pray like this, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. And you will find it only on the Orthodox Church that we use the same prayer like our Lord teach us to pray. Um, he never told them just talk to whatever you want to say, ask whatever, but um, he gave them structured prayers and um, to memorize it, to, to use it, and to, uh, to use it everywhere they go, <clears throat> to be easy for them to pray. And it's um, including every, every request and every prayers in these small prayers. Some of us or um, some other denominations said, but in, in St. Matthew chapter 6, verse 7, he said, do not, when you pray, do not do your prayers in vain repetition. So they, uh, they focus about the word repetition, but not vain repetition. So they cut the verse into, or the two words into two parts, vain and repetition. They ignore vain and they focus on the repetition. Of course, the vain repetition is wrong. Just to pray, our Father, our Father, that's, that's, that's wrong. Of course. But when you pray, our Father who art in heaven, and think about every word coming from your heart, it's the right way. So the problem not in the repetition, but the problem in vain repetition. Make sense? So uh, it's um, obviously in the Orthodox Church, you have liturgy or mass repeated, the same prayers. And every day we come, every Sunday we come to the church, we feel new. We feel ju just it's um, touched our hearts and touched our needs. When we ask today about, uh, about God's place and God's, God's um, uh, uh, healing, maybe because I'm, I'm suffering from sickness or I'm worried about someone sick or I'm, uh, I'm uh, worried about um, uh, blood test will do it tomorrow or x-ray will do it or MRI or whatever. So it's different prayer and different need today. Tomorrow or the week after, maybe I have um, a big exam or big, big interview or moving to a different state or moving to a different job. So every day there is needs, different needs. And the prayer is the same prayer. Fulfill all our needs. And we feel it. it's uh, as if every day we first time to pray the same prayer. So it's a great to, to use God's plans and God's um, um, instructions how to pray. Pray with the same prayer every day. Our Father who art in heaven. But don't. Make sure do not make it in vain. Um, 
very important to know that uh, our Lord give us parable today to understand what the repetition mean. About a friend has no food and he has a guest and he need to bring food and he went to his friends knocking his door asking him to give him some food to offer his friends. And uh, he start to keep knocking and, and, and asking more and more and more and more. So our Lord said about him, I say to you, though he will not raise and give him because he is his friend, yet because of his resistance. So we need to learn the resistance in the prayers to ask and to have a faith. And um, he said also, the verse right after, which is very wonderful treasure for us. So I say to you, ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks, receives, and he who seeks, find. Everyone Oh my goodness. Try to, to, to focus on everyone. He never said, those who ask, maybe they will receive. But he said, everyone ask, will receive. Everyone, everyone. So that's a great treasure. A wonderful uh, blessing in our, our church and our faith. That just ask. Why you don't ask till now? It's easy. Whatever. You have open balance in the bank. Withdraw whatever you want. Million or ten millions or hundred millions, whatever. Just take. It's yours. So it's very wonderful, great blessing to have this uh, faith that whatever we ask, he will give us. And uh, just ask and he will give everyone uh, who is asked. God uh, bless us and give, God give us this great, wonderful faith uh, to have faith in him and to pray and to learn how to pray uh, from heart and from mind and from souls. Um, and um, uh, I hope to see you uh, more often, but in the new church, God willing. And uh, God bless the service and bless all of your service. Blessed are